Hello everyone. It's another beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. It's always a blessing for you to praise Him, for you to glorify Him, for you to continue to seek Him, to give Him the honor and all the praise each and every day. It's always a blessing to always keep Jesus first place in your life each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know about you, but I love giving Him the thanks. I love giving him the praise for who he is and what he has done in every last one of our lives. Just think about, if we didn't have Jesus, where would you be at right now today? If Jesus wasn't there for you in your time of need, when you was hurting, when you didn't know a way out, wasn't, wasn't Jesus always there for you? Did he make a way for you? Did he provide when you didn't have nothing? Did he make a way when you didn't know a way? Don't he deserve the thanks for it? Don't he deserve a praise for it? Don't he deserve the glory? Yes, he does. And just don't thank him and praise him because you want something but or you're in need of something. You want to give him the thanks and praise and glory because you're in love with Jesus that you put your faith and your trust in him each and every day in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. He deserved the praise each and every day. There's no limit. So how many times that you can praise or thank him? For 60 seconds right now, my brothers and my sisters. I would love for y'all to start what y'all are doing right now. Just go in your room. Shut the door. Just go in your closet. Just start praising him. Just start thanking him. Just start giving him the glory for who he is and what he has done in your life. He deserved that. He deserved that. Praise him. But praise him with all your might heart and soul each and every day in the mighty name of jesus amen amen glory today's text is coming from first peter chapter 5 and we're going to read verse 7 that's first peter chapter 5 and we're going to read verse 7 and today's message is keep doing what you're doing see my brothers my sisters jesus is aware of of what's going on in your life right now. He's aware of your situation right now. He's aware of your circumstances right now. He's aware of everything. But he wants you to um, pour all your problems and your anxiety on him. But he wants you to keep doing what you're supposed to do as a servant of, a, of, of your servant of the Heavenly Father God. He wants you to keep seeking him. He wants you to keep praising him. But most of all, but most of all, he wants you to keep trusting him. Keep doing what you're doing. We serve an awesome and amazing God. He's mysterious. He's working everything out in your life right now. But you got to keep doing what you're doing. And that's what Jesus is expecting out of every last one of us. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Our Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I can't thank you enough for another day with our health and our strength today. I just can't thank you enough for our clothes and shoes that you put on our back today. I just can't thank you enough for the food that you put on our table today. I just can't thank you enough because you breathe life inside our body today. You gave us another opportunity today. You gave us another chance to do it all over again today, for us to seek you today, for us to put our faith and our trust in you again today. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we face today, but for us, for us to continue to put our faith and our trust in you, that you have everything worked out. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy today, oh Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank you enough for the many of blessings that you're about to provide for us. I just can't thank you enough for the doors that you're opening. I just can't thank you enough for the storm. I just can't thank you enough for the rain. I just can't thank you enough because you're about to open up the floodgates of heaven on every last one of us who's seeking you, who's worshiping you, who's praising you, and who's trusting you with all they might, heart, and soul each and every day. And I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do. That's why I glorify you the way I do. That's why I continue to seek you the way that I do. Because I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. You are my everything. You're the one I put my faith and my trust in each and every day. It's you, Jesus. And I just can't thank you enough. 
And in Jesus' holy name, amen, amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn y'all Bible to 1 Peter chapter 5, and we're going to read verse 7. That's 1 Peter 5, and we're going to read verse 7. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, amen. Amen, let's begin. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. He said cast all of it. He didn't say cast some of it. He didn't say cast a little bit of it. He wants you to cast all your anxieties, all your problems, all your situations, all your circumstances. He wants you to cast it all on him because he cares for you. And he's caring for you right now today. He knows what you're going through right now today, my brothers. He knows exactly what you're going through today, my sisters. And he knows that it's not easy. He knows that it is not making you feel right. He knows it's making you feel really uncomfortable in your situation right now. He know what's going on. He's no, he's no stranger of your problems right now. He's no stranger of your circumstances right now. He's no stranger of your situation right now. He's no stranger of your storm right now. He's no stranger how dark your tongue is. He's no stranger how people are turning their back against you or doing you wrong. He's no stranger how your husband and your wife is really not loving you and treating you right. He's no stranger how your family members are doing you. He's no stranger how your friends are doing you. He's no stranger how the naysayers and the haters are doing you right now. But Jesus wants you to know right now today. He's putting the word in y'all spirit right now today and say, you keep doing what you're doing. Don't worry about what the situation is. Don't worry about the circumstances. Don't worry about the storm. Don't worry, don't worry about how dark your tongue is. Don't worry about how your husband or your wife is doing you. Don't worry about how your friends are treating you. Don't worry about how your family members are doing you. Don't worry about what the naysayers and the haters are saying. He said, cast your problems on me and you keep doing what you're doing and I'm going to work everything out for you. And the reason why he's going to work it out for you because he loves you and he cares for you. That's why he said, you keep doing what you're doing. I know the situation, Phil. I'm in that situation, my brothers, my sisters. I know how I feel. I know you've been praying for a change. I know you've been praying for a miracle. I know you've been praying for your husband and your wife to turn around or change their ways. I know you've been praying for you to get out of that storm. The same person who put you in that storm is going to be the same person who's going to get you out of the storm. I know you've been praying because you've been in your tunnel so long. You've been running for the prize, but you haven't seen light yet. But the same one who made darkness can turn darkness into light. He said, you keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to make sure that you'll see light at the end of that tunnel. You, you keep seeking me. You keep praising me. I made sure the same one I put you in that storm, I'm going to get you out of that storm. You keep thanking me. You keep praising me. You continue to pour your, your anxieties on me. I made sure that whatever that your husband and your wife is doing to you, I will turn your situation around right now in the mighty name of Jesus because I care for you. I love you and you are my own. So you continue to do what you're supposed to do right now, my sisters. You continue to do what you're supposed to do right now today, my brothers, because Jesus, because Jesus cares for you. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this message today is going for, is for somebody right now today. This message is for somebody right now today. Jesus, I know what you've been going through. I know what you've been facing. I know your trials. I know your tribulation. I know you're hurt. I know your pain. I know you've been looking for help. And some of y'all probably thought I don't forget about you. I know you've been looking for answers and you still haven't seen anything yet. I know what you're going through is making you feel so uneasy right now. It's making you feel so easy. I know that you're hurting right now. I don't, I don't wipe down every tear from your face. I'm going to heal your heart from all that hurt that you've been going through. I'm going to heal your heart from all that pain that you've been facing. I know some of y'all haven't seen sun in a long time. But he said, you keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to make sure I bring joy and sunshine to you. Every person who don't do you wrong, leave that problem to me. I take care of that problem. Every husband, every wife who don't did you wrong, who ain't giving you all of you, he said, you take care of that, get that problem to me, I take care of that problem. Every hater who's hating on you and every naysayer who's saying that you're never going to make it, Jesus said, leave that problem to me. I guarantee you I will turn that situation around for you. But he wants you to continue to do what you do right now. And what he wants us to do, my brothers, what you think Jesus wants us to do today, my sisters? Cast all our problems on him. But most of all, he wants us to continue to seek him and put our faith and trust in him, knowing that he's going to make a way. 
He's going to make a way out of no way. I know it's uneasy right now. I know that you're hurting right now. I know that you're going through a difficult time right now. I know that you've been hurting right now. I know that you've been crying right now. I know that you've been in your situation right now. I know some of us been in that situation way too long. And you wonder why we're still in it. And you really ask yourself, is Jesus really going to take care of us? Is Jesus really going to take care of the situation? The answer to that, my brothers my sisters, yes, he is. That's why he's put this word in my spirit today for me to tell somebody today. You can you keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to take care of that problem. Don't think I'm not aware of how your wife is not doing what she's supposed to do, treating you like she's supposed to be treating you, or your husband. I'm aware of your circumstances. I'm aware of your situation. I'm aware of your storm. I'm aware of your troubles. I'm aware of your pain. I'm aware of your hurt. I'm aware how dark your tongue. I'm aware that you asking for help. Help is on the way. Rain is on the way. Joy is on the way. Sunshine is on the way. Your situation is going to turn around for the best for you. But you got to continue to do what Jesus wants you to do. You continue to praise him, to glorify him, and to seek him. And always put him in first place. He's going to take care of the rest for us. It's not for us to do. It's not for us to continue to dwell on it. Even though we're hurting right now. Even though we're facing our problems right now. He don't want us to continue to dwell on it. But he wants us to continue to do what we're doing. It's trusting him. Knowing that he's going to do it. What he says he's going to do. That's his promises right now. He cares for you that much. He loves you. He loves you that much. For him to sit there and say he cares all your anxieties on him. He's telling you right now. I care for you that much, my son and daughter. I love you that much, my son and daughter. I'm not going to allow them people or how many people it is to continue to hurt you, do you wrong, and you think I'm going to allow them to continue to do that and hurt you, and I don't do nothing, I don't defend you? He says, no. I got your back. I care for you. I love you. But he wants us to continue to do what we're doing. Let's put our faith and trust in him and continue to seek him. Continue to pray and pray for those who's hurting us, who are doing us wrong. Because I'm going to tell you what, my brothers and my sisters, we serve an awesome and amazing God. He's so mysterious. He's going to turn our situation around. For the ones who's doing what they're doing, watch how God turn the situation around. Watch how God turn our situation around because he is no stranger of what's going on right now. He is no stranger of what we're going through, what we're facing. I believe and I declare right now that Jesus and his angels right now are working on our behalf right now because he's aware of our problem. He's aware of our situation. He's aware of our needs and he's aware of our circumstances. He's turning things around right now. He is turning things around right now. And if you believe that and if you receive that right now, you need to give him thanks right now. You need to give him the praise right now. You need to give him the glory right now and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for caring for me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for turning my situation around. I thought you forgot about me. I thought you was going to allow these people to continue to hurt me the way they've been doing. But Jesus said, no, I care for you that much. I love you that much. There's no way I'm going to allow them to continue to do this. I care for you. And I love you. You are my child. You are my prized possession. I'm turning your situation around today. My brothers, my sisters. I know this message for one of y'all. Maybe it's for a lot of people. I don't know. But I tell you one thing, my brothers, my sisters. You guys are not the only one in it. Minister LT is in it too. And I believe right now today, and I receive it, that he's turning my situation around like I know he's doing yours. I've been going through it, and I've been facing it. But when I, when I thought about it, the Holy Spirit just hit me this morning and said, LT, you continue to do what you're doing. I got you. I care for you. I love you. And when the Spirit just spoke to me, I said, you know what? This message is also for somebody today as well. And I believe that Jesus is handling his situation right now for every last one of us because he cares for us. He knows how long we've been going through our problem. He knows how long we've been going through our situation. He knows. He knows everything. He knows before it happened, before we even know it's going to happen. That's why he's working right now on our behalf to turn our situation around. For those who have hurt us, who done us wrong, who's not loving us, who's hating on us, watch out Jesus 
turn the situation around. Watch how Jesus turned our situation around. And he's doing it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is with us. AFT. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. And always keep Jesus first place in your life. In Jesus' holy name. Amen.